Anna Glass was an English cookery writer of the 18th century. She is remembered mainly for her best-selling cookbook, The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy, first published in 1747. The book was reprinted within its first year of publication, appeared in 20 editions in the 18th century, and continued to be published until 1843. Early Life Glass was christened on 28 March 1708 at St Andrews, Holborn, London. Her mother is said to have been Hannah Reynolds, a widow. Her father was Isaac Allgood, a landowner of Brandon and Simon Byrne, both in Northumberland. He had recently married Hannah Clark, the daughter of a London vintner. She once described her mother in a letter as being a wicked wretch. During her childhood, Glass formed a relationship with her father's youngest sister, Margaret Wetherington, with whom she corresponded through most of her adult life. The surviving letters are the major source of information about Glass's personal life. On 5 August 1724 at Leighton, Glass married an Irish soldier, John Glass. Glass's letters reveal that from 1728 to 1732 the couple held positions in the household of the 4th Earl of Donegal at Broomfield, Essex. Thereafter, it seems, they lived in London. Glass's identity as the author of one of the most popular of 18th century cookery books was confirmed in 1938 by the historian Madeleine Hope Dodds. The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy was published by subscription in 1747 and also sold at Mrs. Ashburn's China Shop, according to the title page. A second edition appeared before the year was out. The book did not reveal its authorship, using the vague cover by a lady. This permitted the erroneous claim that it was written by John Hill, for instance in Boswell's Life of Johnson. Johnson was not convinced. In 1747, the same year in which the book appeared, John Glass died. Also in that year, Glass set herself up as a habit maker or dressmaker in Tavistock Street, Covent Garden, in partnership with her eldest daughter Margaret. Later years in 1754 Glass became bankrupt. Her stock was not auctioned after the bankruptcy, as it was all held in Margaret's name. However, on 29 October 1754, Glass was forced to auction her most prized asset, the copyright for the art of cookery. On 17 December 1754, the London Gazette stated that Glass would be discharged from bankruptcy on the 11th of January 1755. In the same year, she and her brother Lancelot repaid the sum of £500 they had jointly borrowed of Sir Henry Bedingfeld two years before. Glass once again fell into dire financial difficulties and was consigned on the 22nd of June 1757 to the Marshal Sedata's prison. In July 1757, she was transferred to Fleet Prison. No record has been found of her release date but she was was a free woman by the 2nd of December 1757, as on this day she registered three shares in the Servants' Directory, a new book she had written on the managing of a household. It was not a commercially successful venture, although its plagiarized editions were popular in North America. Her daughter continued to pay the raids on the Tavistock Street premises until 1758, when it was listed as empty. In 1755 Anne Cook published Professed Cookery, containing a 68-page attack on glass. Cook lived in Hexham, and was reacting to an alleged campaign of intimidation and persecution by Lancelot Allgood. In the same year, Glass published her third and last work, The Complete Confectioner. It was reprinted several times but did not match the success that she had enjoyed with the art of cookery. The London Gazette announced that Mrs. Anna Glass, sister to Lancelot Allgood, died on 1 September 1770, aged 62. Family Glass and her husband had 11 children, five of them surviving. Legacy 
the direction first catch your hair is sometimes misattributed to glass. The closest to it in her art of cookery is the recipe for roast hair which begins take your hair when it be CASD, meaning simply to take our skinned hair. In 1994, Prospect Books published a facsimile of the 1747 edition of Art of Cookery under the title First Catch Your Hair, with introductory essays by Jennifer Stead and Priscilla Bain, and a glossary by Alan Davidson. It was reissued in paperback in 2004. In 1998, Applewood Books published a facsimile edition of the 1805 edition, annotated by culinary historian Karen Hess. In 2006, Glass was the subject of a BBC drama documentary that called her the mother of the modern dinner party, and the first domestic goddess. Walter Stapes serves Glass's recipes in the City Tavern, Philadelphia, and praises her in his colonial cookbooks and his television television show, A Taste of History.